Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Ma. Recently, Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong was interviewed by the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC. The BBC asked why Tan Chuan Jin was allowed to continue performing his duties as Speaker of Parliament even though Prime Minister Li had known about the extramarital affair for a while. In response, Mr. Wong stressed that this case was different from corruption. With corruption and criminal wrongdoing, we have zero tolerance. When it comes to conduct, you have to exercise judgment, he added. While the PAP sets high standards for propriety and personal conduct, there can be an impact on innocent parties when dealing with such cases, said Mr. Wong. We do not police the private lives of all our MPs, he added, stressing again that Mr. Lee had already counseled Mr. Tan and Ms. Cheng, and asked them to stop. But we did not know what was going on until subsequently, the Prime Minister found out again and he spoke to them in February this year, and learned that this was continuing, and he accepted the resignation then. When asked whether the PAP is now adopting a zero-tolerance policy towards extramarital affairs in light of recent incidents, Mr. Wong said, we have never adopted that approach. For corruption and criminal wrongdoing, we have zero tolerance. When it comes to personal conduct and extramarital affairs, we have never taken that same approach because every case is different. We have to look at the circumstances of the case, the individuals concerned, and we have to also consider the parties involved, including many innocent parties. Where conduct is involved, it is dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis, said Mr. Wong, adding that the government will exercise compassion and sensitivity where necessary, while upholding the trust Singaporeans have in it at the same time. Deputy Prime Minister Wong's responses have confirmed that the Singapore government has indeed lowered its standards. This is evident when we compare the Tan Chuan Jin incident to the Michael Palmer incident. On 12 December 2012, Michael Palmer announced his resignation as Speaker of Parliament, Member of Parliament for Pungal East SMC, and a member of the PAP, due to an extramarital affair with Laura Ong Wei Hoon, constituency director of the People's Association Office in Pasir Ris Pungal GRC. At a press conference, alongside Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Heen, Palmer admitted he had made a grave mistake and that it was a serious error of judgment. He resigned in order to avoid further embarrassment. The People's Association staff member concerned also resigned. Michael Palmer was not allowed to continue as Speaker of Parliament, unlike Tan Chuan Jin. Basically, during the time of Michael Palmer, the Singapore government had zero tolerance for criminal misconduct and moral wrongdoing. What Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong has revealed during the interview with BBC is that the Singapore government still has zero tolerance for criminal misconduct, but for moral wrongdoing it now looks at the circumstances of the case, the individuals concerned and also considers the parties involved, including many innocent parties. Professor Ma is in no position to advise the Singapore government on this matter, but previously, as a Singapore citizen I was 99% certain that a PAP member of parliament would have good moral character. From now on, one of the questions on my mind whenever I look at any PAP member of parliament would be whether that person is having an affair, since I now know that the Singapore government may choose to conceal any knowledge of their members of parliament having affairs. So why is the Singapore government lowering its standards? Probably because it thinks it could lose more members of parliament should it have zero tolerance for extramarital affairs. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.